Welcome to this introduction video relating to accounts payable and procurement in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Let's begin by looking at the accounts payable workspaces. Let's navigate to the accounts payable module. The first workspace is that of the vendor invoice entry. The summary tiles display unposted invoices, either pending or on hold. There's an invoice pool and pending invoices assigned to me. We also have journals and journals assigned to me. In the list area, specific documents not invoiced can be identified and processed if need be. A particular purchase order can be searched for or filtered out by a vendor account or invoicing account, even by a purchase order status. Other options for identifying particular product receipts, as well as pending vendor invoices are also available. Further to the right of the workspace, we also have additional links of other vendors, all vendors, purchase orders, open prepayments, invoice journals, and invoice history and matching details. Again, this workspace is personalizable, so you can add additional menu items to this workspace. At the top of this workspace, we can also create new vendor invoices, new invoice journals, new global invoice journals, new invoice registers, new invoice approvals. The second workspace is that of the vendor payments. The summary tiles has an option to create new payment runs. You can review all vendors, review details as to payment runs not yet posted, invoices past due, as well as vendor, vendors on hold. In the list area, vendor invoices either past due or payments not settled can be reviewed and processed accordingly. To the further right hand side, related information for reports is also available and personalization of additional reports can be added to this workspace. Let's now take a look at all vendor accounts. Navigating to my accounts payable, under vendors, I have an option for all vendors. The details of vendor accounts can be reviewed and updated by simply selecting the vendor account number. Default information can be added and maintained via the various tabs, such as general information, address and contact information, miscellaneous details, vendor profile information, Purchasing demographics, invoice and delivery, purchase order defaults, payment defaults, as well as financial dimensions. Setup, transactional details, and related information can be accessed via the ribbon. For each of the tabs, the appropriate functions are available. Here we can maintain and put a vendor on hold if, ne if necessary. Copy vendor information, look at transactional details, tax information and related information. Via the procurement tab, we can create new purchase orders or request for quotations, review related information to this vendor, review any agreements, quality information and setup. Under the Invoice tab, we have the option for creating new invoices and invoice journals and payment journals, setting up posting and default accounts, settling specific transactions, as well as additional related information. Further, general information relates to cases, setup of business classifications, intercompany, 
print management, and so on. Let's navigate to the procurement and sourcing module. From a processing perspective, this module provides the capabilities for a variety of functions, such as purchase orders, purchase requisitions, request for quotations, the vendor menu item is available here as well. This module also has its own unique set of inquiries and reports. Let's now take a look at a purchase order. The business process functions are divided also into different tabs. So for this particular purchase order, it's divided into a header and a lines view. Under the purchase tab, we can maintain and allocate charges, view sales tax, prepayments, accounting distributions, and further journals and vendor collaborations. The Manage tab allows us to look at line amounts, budgets, intercompany tracing, and history. The Receive tabs enable us, enables us to create product receipts for new purchase orders, as well as a product receipt list. Quality management also comes into play under the Receive tab. Previously created product receipts will be reviewed under the journals area. The invoice tab allows us to generate new invoices or performer invoices, settle open transactions, and also review previously posted invoices. From both the accounts payable and procurement modules, they both have standard workflow templates that can be configured to enforce transactional authorizations. So under procurement and sourcing, there is a purchase requisition line review, purchase requisition review, purchase order workflow, and replenishment as well as spending limits purchase requisition line reviews. However, from the accounts payable module, We have vendor invoice journal workflows for authorization. This concludes the introduction to accounts payable and procurement using Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Thank you for watching.